Let's see. I've played I played a lot of the early Total War games, like when the franchise was relatively new. I haven't played a lot of the newer ones. Uh what's your favorite? Honestly, you listed my favorite right there, Shogun 2. I really enjoyed like sending out the uh the various assassins, your ninjas to murder folk. It's always been one of my favorite aspects of that game. And I always thought Shogun 2 did it best. Do, do, do. Oh yeah. Did I change the game? I think I changed the game. Yes, the game has been updated. Alright, let's check out Dark. I've been told this is very similar to Little Nightmares, and I love Little Nightmares. I'll progress in the current chapter. I don't have any progress in the current chapter. Oh. Tim Burton's uh, inner inner spirit is here. Ba, 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 da, ba. Oh wait, I can see we are definitely uh What's funny is I have up in the upper right hand uh, sorry, upper left hand corner a frame rate and I see 60 frames per second, so I'm like, oh everything's fine. Then I look at the capture. <laughs> everything's not fine. Well that's an easy fix, hold on. Are we still overloaded here? No, looks good. Oh yeah. Is there a go faster button? Alright, that seems like everything's fine now. I, uh, I can only go left and right. Wait, Draxium says still fucked? Let's see here. I have 60 frames per second on the capture. One and a half milliseconds per frame. It should be good right now. Should be all fixed. Now we just gotta figure out how we get out of the room. Yes, Persona 5 came out on PC. And also on the Switch, I believe. Oh, that's how we run. How do I... How do I go? How do I play game? Press just buttons. Press all the buttons. Oh, oh, here we go. Ah, uh, just gotta take a nap. Yeah, that happens to me most nights. Was anyone else disappointed that the Silent Hill remake uh, announcement was just a remake? But it wasn't just a remake. They announced, like, four games in a movie. <laughs> I'm disappointed with Silent Hill 2 Remake being led up by uh, Bloober. But who knows? I'll give them a chance. We'll, we'll see what happens when it comes out. I'm mostly excited for Silent Hill F, I think. Okay, that seems like it might be very loud. Been on the loud side, I guess? Yeah, they announced, like, a lot of stuff. It was actually kind of wild. Bring it down to like 80? Let me know how the volume is. Alright. Even that sound was uh, not too loud for you? You're telling me that was quiet? That sound right there? That noise? 
Yeah, they announced um, Silent Hill 2 Remake. They announced Silent Hill F, and that's the exciting one. That's by uh, the guy who wrote and directed... Or rather, just wrote, right? Higuroshi? So that should be fucking wild. It takes place in 1960s Japan. And then there's, like, Silent Hill T Townies? No one knows what that one is yet. But that one's head up by Bad Robot Games. So that's a J.J. Abrams joint in some way. He did everything in Higurashi. Well, thank you. So that's why the F is exciting. He even made the bad pictures. So yes, uh, let me know if maybe it's too loud sometimes. Go find more gears. Well, that's a locked door, so don't go that way. This game is, like, super quiet right up until explosively loud noises. <laughs> Wish I could just do that. Hello, you want a gear? Uh, sure, I'll interact with you. Fuck off. Chris hates sliding puzzles. Satan made fucking sliding puzzles. That's where they came from. Sliding tiles, fucking puzzles, I hate them. Actually, wait, was I supposed to take that key with me? Come back down. Meet your donut. <laughs> Meet your daughter at a Dunkin' Donuts. Exactly. There we go. We want to take that with us. And then take this. So yeah, there was Silent Hill F, that's the exciting one. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake, led by Bloober Team. Uh, Townies, which we don't know what it is, but it's made by... Made by the bad robot folk. A movie, they're doing a Silent Hill 2 movie. And then there's one more thing that I, I'm not sure I know the name of. Huh, can I use the key emblem here? Alright, we gotta leave the gear in. Yeah, I'm not a hip I'm not a big sliding puzzle fan myself. I hear hospital room equipment. Alright, we gotta figure out where to use this key. Let's take that for now. Nothing on Switch, probably. I don't know. Pretty sure Silent Hill 2 is PlayStation 5 exclusive for uh, six months or a year. Not sure about the other ones. All right, temporarily, we're going to leave that there. Let's go back. If we take this out, does the door open again? No, door doesn't open again. Can we change things by putting the gear in different locations? Sound like stuff happened out there. I 
Feels like nothing ever comes out for the Switch. Most things come out for the Switch. Wait, wait! Persona 5, all the Personas are coming to the Switch now. <clears throat> Personally, for me, the Switch is a console for Nintendo exclusives. And some some indie games that I rather enjoy portably. <coughs> there we go. Hello? All right, so far nothing good. Looks like I need two gears. I'll come back when I have to. I could put gear on you. Came down from there. Yeah, put gear here. No, that's useless. This is how it usually is. Never mind. Has to be something in that other room. Wait, I should take that other gear with me. Oh my god. Duh. Why would I leave it there? You come with me. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And then we got gear. And we got gear. Key there. Uh. Skull, huh? I can see a skull there. Put that back. Oh. Gotta go a lot faster than that. All right. So key first. God damn it. All right, let's close this. Now key. Skull. Ankh. Eye. Ankh. Wait, skull. And I again. Yeah! Give me that fucking gear, it's mine now. Nice gear you got there, loser. Excuse me? Gun and shoot you? Uh, 
I see the uh, the pseudo-sexual, psychosexual enemies of Silent Hill are on loan here. Peace. Rotate. Rotate. Bop it. Hello? Goodbye. Like your sack face. <laughs> I don't have any issues with my mother. Well, these nurses are here to help you. Have issues. Ah, uh, woke up from that joyous nap. Chapter 2 unlocked. Do we just, like, lie back in bed for chapter 2? Looks like we do. If I hit the swap wall button here, nothing. All right. All right, Tim Burton. Uh... Whoa! Subway tray. This is Tim Burton's metaverse model. It all makes sense now. That is so loud. Just go ahead and uh, knock it down to 70. No, you see, that's why subways are confusing, because you keep on doing that to the map. The volume mixing in this game is insanity. Way up in the reds there. I need Pawnee here. I can only trust Pawnee for value. Someone who's really like the mix in Terminator, yeah. Just very quiet right up until something explodes. At which point, as loud as you could possibly make it, please. An old watch. Ah, uh, Pani's sick, so she's currently napping. We have no one to rely on but ourselves. Why? A small key. Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of a fucking train.
I'm sure I can make it before the next train. Go! Ah, uh, it doesn't let me get killed by a train. Bye, Bagman. Huh, not allowed to go back. Respecting the turnstile, that's... That's a choice. Anything change if I do it upside down? I suppose, yes, I now have access to a different... Different area. No, nope. <laughs> nothing there, though. Use the small key. Take the book of matches. Burn this whole place to the ground. Is this the one? Yeah, not like that. This one. New orders, Agent 47. Commit arson. Oh, uh, now we need to flip back over, over here. So, one, two. And then rotate over. Use the matches. Much too lazy to turn that off. Old watch. Well, that's a bit adventure gamey. Take the letter T. Letter T. Up and over. Only a horror game because of its built-in motion sickness. Motion sickness? As someone who frequently gets motion sick, I'm not having any trouble there. Well, that's because it's not first-person perspective. First-person perspective is what gets to me, especially if you mess with, like, field of vision and the refresh rates of the monitor pairing with, like, a weird strobe effect of lights in first-person. Like, first-person horror games do a lot of things that are supposed to make you feel uneasy that mostly just make me feel sick. It's rather annoying. <laughs> Gotta stop having these weird fucking dreams. A severed hand. Right in the pocket with you. Tim Burton's inner child. Use the severed hand. The hover fanboat levels gave you vicious motion sickness. Yeah, those were those were rough. I don't remember getting motion sick for Half-Life 2, though. But I do remember those segments being, like, my least favorite. Oh. Alm, what's up? So trash can goes down there. Shit, which direction did I come from? Park? Unlock. There's no jump button, though. 
You found Final Fantasy XIV again. I'm so sorry. Easy peasy. What? No! How do you do it with that fucking... Oh, God. You have to make sure the last one you step on is that one. Okay. There we go. Will it stay unlocked now? Well, I guess I unlocked it. I might as well go this way. Dust off the old Kelty cosplay. You made yourself a dual hen character? Is there a way not to have a head or to wear just like a motorcycle helmet? Also, excellent, excellent reference. A fine ass anime right there. Well, you don't use the severed hand there, duh. The old motorcycle helmet with cat ears, perfect. That's awesome. I like it. As long as you never take off the helmet, you're safe. Of course, this being a Final Fantasy game, if you find a Shinra, I don't think you're going to be able to date them. Leave this in the up position just in case because it wasn't in the up position to start oh it's a time thing huh well we have to figure out why we need that first i'm sure there's another plane that we're going to interact with that on All right, let's do the left and right on this perspective. No severed hand there. You think that's it right there? Was that what we were lifting up? <coughs> no, we were lifting that one up back there. But they could be related. Let's test it and find out. Upsy daisy. a dead end. There's a hand up there. We could follow the cables. They're in the ground over here. Anything of note over here? Nothing. You get recognized once or twice per day? I mean, dra -ra -ra. Very well known, very liked uh, anime. I'm not surprised a lot of folks would recognize you. That game sucks. I hate this game. I don't even fun to play. Look at that. Press some buttons, something happens. This way. Oh my god, I'm so bad at remembering which direction all of these are. I need labels. I need labels! Wait. Huh. 
car battery. All right, now we're cooking. Chainsaw scythe? Ah, close enough. No car battery there. How's the game? We've only been doing this one for... I don't know, what? Less than an hour, right? I like it so far. Today we did Project Soundboy. That was enjoyable. And then... Lost... Shit, what was the other game? Lost Relic? Lost something? My memory. My memory's poor. For names. Lost Ruins. Which I enjoyed. Here you go, another severed hand for you. I know how much you love those severed hands. And then we got a car battery we gotta use. And now we're here with Dark. Dark Hue. Dark Hue. Car battery? Car battery. This game is, is dream logic y, which can be fun. But I'm also cautious because dream logic can also be highly frustrating. Like, what the fuck am I doing right now? Wait, how do I interact with this? No! Am I in the wrong perspective or something? I gotta rotate the street. Well, think. I'm certainly solving things. Couldn't tell you what that meant. Hello, severed arm. I know where you go. One more severed arm, and we know where it is. We want to rotate again. Or do we want to rotate again? Have yet to figure out what this is doing. Aha! There we go. Car key. Crack that car open. Got a crank. We got the movie Crank. That movie's great. Question is where 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 is crank go? I gotta I gotta remap this run button. I'm going to scream if I have to keep on holding that down. No no come on. Well no remapping nothing then. I got these fine ass paddles on this controller. I wanna I wanna map stuff to them. Crank. No, not crank? You sure not crank? I was so convinced this is where crank was going to be involved. Alright, we're just going to go... Go to each perspective we can until we find where the crank go. Don't think it's this one. Nope, no crank here. Uh, 
uh, this one. Crank. I can raise and lower the thing. That's not important. Nope, no crank here. I don't think there was a crank op a crank opportunity past the demon over here. Well, we'll check just in case. Rather be thorough than waste my time and come back later and find out it was here. Ah, oh, come on, pick up the pace here. What's going to be difficult, though, is we have to find a pair of underwear. That way, all three games can be thematically linked. There's still time. We might be able to find one in this game. Crank? Crank, it was here. There's a demon, but you're still somehow the scariest thing on the screen. Yeah, this kid is, uh, is upsetting to look at. This is, uh, Tim Burton's inner child. Come on, Moni, let's go. Don't have all day here. Have myself a spooky Halloween Oreo. Well, I guess I'll have a drink instead. What's up, Trail Magic? I'm gonna drink, my friend. Just finished more unlocks in Vampire Survivor. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wait. Shit, none of these actually rotate the thing up. I'm very behind on Vampire Survivors. At some point, I'll need to sit down and uh, finish all the unlocks. My last severed hand! I don't mind uh, that I have no idea what's going on in this game, but I kind of wish there was a little bit of like a framing device for what's going on. Like, little nightmares. It just kind of like shows you like, OK, you're here now. This is what's going on. Play the game. Uh, this one, like it just kind of starts. I just wanted like just a little bit of something to let me know who I am. Oh, yeah, Alan, you should definitely post in the discord. Show folks your, your very good uh, Kelty cosplay. Lord knows, Final Fantasy XIV gets played fairly often around these parts. Not by me, because I... I don't do MMOs. I will not sully myself. The frame device is you're dreaming, and dreams are weird. Well, yes and no. Like, this right here would be our framing device. We are a weird 
fucking alien childs. One of the half-breeds from the X-Files series. Living in a dilapidated apartment. And we dream when we go to sleep. Like, I wanted, like, a little bit of setup for this. This part here. I finally had a dream the other night. Can't remember what it was. Technically, you dream every night. You just don't remember any of your dreams. Unless you don't sleep. In which case, yes, you won't dream. Unless you have a horrible disorder that prevents you from experiencing REM. You do, you do dream every night. I said go down. Maybe we can switch where we are. You ever have those nights where you blink and you wake up the next morning? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean you didn't dream, though. Like, again, unless you have a, a terrible disorder that prevents rep. that circuit. Let's go this way instead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think we'll take you with me. Uh, someone destroy them! Thank you. <gasps> Good night, queen. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. My light bulb. MeLightBulb.com Well, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to leave it on this. Put, 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 put. Hello. Just take the snake with you. Alright. I ain't gonna complain. It's a free fucking snake. It's a friendly danger noodle. Alright, we're trying to make it wrap all the way around and light up this. But let's see if we pass anything we can interact with here. Okay, here we are. Well, yeah, we don't use the snake or the light bulb here? Alright. Oh, that's a fail condition, is it? <laughs> use the snake instead. I don't know, seems like a fine orgy to me. Alright, not the snake, not the light bulb. So we need to do something to make that room safe for use. <laughs> Still trying to figure out which, uh, which undead it is, huh? <gasps> the first rule of the Saurus Club is you don't talk about, mention, speak of, or discuss, or chat about the Saurus Club. Very good. Huh. 
I'm sending it that way now. Which lo locks this door. Shaisa. That door. Wait. That's where we got our friendly danger noodle. Well, I see no benefit to having that one go in there, so back to that. Got the light bulb from here. We only use this to get the light bulb, so this is all done. Yeah, that was light bulb stuff. Hmm. Uh. Boy, this is a, a weird one. I don't know. We're just looking for a place to use the Great American Danger Noodle. All right. It's a type of undead. And your second hint is, unlike many types, you, uh... You, you maintain a lot of your faculties as this particular type of undead. As far as I know at the moment, no. Like, I have a danger noodle. Can't use the danger noodle. And I have a light bulb. What to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? There you go. That's right. Scream real, real loud. loud. So we can't use the danger noodle. We can't use the light bulb. Light bulb gets us killed. We send it over here. That just brings up the little machine. There's this rotation, which I'm not quite sure I understand. I think that's just... Where is it going when we send it this way? I kind of wish you could, like, rotate the camera around. Because I'm sending the electricity that way, and I have no idea what it's doing or where it's going. So that door is locked now. I can't go that way. I can go up here to a door that's locked. We can't get in there. And then on this plane, we can... And once again, I think that's just how it starts. Like, that's the starting configuration. Huh, what are we missing here? Like, this is what we need to solve. This is what we're up to here. It's this room. All I have is my snake and a light bulb, and the light bulb gets me killed. What if we're in the sneaking mode when we put in the light bulb? No, nope, that's just death. Can't rotate the thing because we can't see it. What are we missing? I don't understand. I'm pretty sure I've looked at everywhere I could look, right? In the darkened room? No. I, I, I'm prevented from moving any further in the darkened room. Likewise, I can't go up this wall right here for some reason. This room is how I got the light bulb, and that's all there is to the room as far as I know. That brings up a little platform. Like, I'm just looking for anything that, uh... has the interact label pop up. I 
I am open to suggestions, Chet. I am I am stuck. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. I have two items and nowhere to use them. What if I go back out the front door? No, it's locked. Just a negative Nancy today, aren't we, mighty own? Turn off the upstairs electricity line, go up and put the bulb in. Ah, but doesn't that turn the doors closed? So if we do that, are the doors available for use? Yeah, that's the problem, is the doors are closed. We need to keep the door open, but the electricity not reaching the stupid light bulb. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Creedmoor. I just don't know how to do that without the doors being locked. Let's take a look at the circuit a little bit and see. So that's what we're trying to light up. It's currently coming in, hits that, door opens. Yeah, I don't know how to do that without, you know, locking myself in the room. Or locking myself out of the room. How do we do it? I need to look at it again. I need to take it in. All right, it hits that box, and that's what opens the door. Yeah, I don't know how to do it so that the door stays open. If we remove the electricity, the door locks, and I can't get in. Hmm. The fuck is the snake for? Use the snake. Just use it. I don't give a shit. God damn it. Now, with the door locked, there's nowhere for me to go and nothing for me to interact with. There is a step. A step in this process that it, we are missing. That we need to figure out. What? Pretty sure I'm not allowed to walk over the door. That's an incomplete circuit for the door now, right? Yeah, it's a graded door, so I'm not allowed to walk over it. Fuck. Not sure where that's going or what it's doing. But again, door closed. Can't get in. Was this because of snake? Did we use that for snake last time? Alright, we'll set the electricity to that format and see what happens. So that door is closed. That's fine. We go back this way. Yeah, I think we used that to get to Snake last time. So I can't go that way. We know to the left is where we got the snake. That's done. I'm 
pop back in here. If we set this circuit, it brings up the thing that lets us move the light bulb left and right. And then we complete the circuit for the light bulb up there, and we grab the light bulb. Or rather, we set the circuit so that I could ride this platform up to get the light bulb. Let's take a look at the platform again. Maybe we're missing something with the platform. That's it. That's all there is. There's nothing up there. Can't do anything up here. I have to wait two years for good TV again. I'm sure there's gonna be... Well, I mean, at the moment, there's like a hundred really good... Really good anime airing at this very moment. This season's ridiculous. Use the lever and go back. Go, go back? Go back where? The doors should be closed. Yep, doors are closed. Don't watch anime? Huh? You're missing out on a lot of good shows. Alright, back lever. Still can't go back that way. God. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Jeez. All right, first off. There we go. We were just missing a section of the whole area. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Snake. Oh yeah, what we do in the shadows is incredible. But that's over, too. Well, I mean, the season's over. I'm trying to think of currently airing shows. But yeah, House of the Dragon ends today. Lord of the Rings is over. Lots of very good anime, like I said. Like, really good stuff. It is, it is a jam-packed season. You can always watch Reservation Dogs. That's a good show. There we go, now I fit in with the weird perverts in this room. Still waiting for One Punch Man? Hey, the new season of Mob Psycho is amazing so far. <coughs> and that's from the same author as One Punch Man. <coughs> Honestly, I like Mob Psycho more than One Punch Man. Mob Psycho is stellar stuff. Yeah, saying you don't like anime is like saying you don't like movies or music. Like, anime, uh, is a medium as opposed to a genre. A medium that encompasses all genres. Mob Psycho 100. It is great. It's about a kid with very powerful psychic powers, but he doesn't want to rely on them, and he doesn't like being defined by them. And all of the wacky, crazy things that are happening in the world around him with people that are trying to push him one way or the other. Highly recommend. I, I really like Mob Psycho. You know what we all mean by anime. What?
Yeah, he worries about that. Hence being a mob character, exactly. I mean, the real joy of the show is watching this, uh, this kid slowly build himself... Gain, gain confidence, gain friends, and grow as a person. It's just like, oh, this is great. It's a very, very enjoyable show. A lot of very strong supporting characters. Yeah, some electrical tape. We on a train again? Sounds like we're on a train again. Oh yeah, we're on a train. Alright, lever mechanic still here. You rarely watch the popular shonen? I typically watch everything. Strong winners this season, Mob Psycho, Chainsaw Man, Bochi Rocks, Bochi the Rock, rather, is very good, Keep a Maid War. Obviously a lot of returning shows in their seconds and third seasons that are very good. There's like too much. Yeah, high budget fantasy, like, those are the two shows, and we're gonna have to wait. Spy Family S, that's another good one. I am caught up on Chainsaw Man, it is still fantastic. Alright, we can roll that back twice, let's keep that in mind. Chris doesn't watch the popular Shonen either, he just forgets about them. Hey, I watch them. I'm not currently caught up on uh, My Hero Academia, but I will watch it. That's pretty much it. Popular, popular shonen I watch are Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't watch uh, like Naruto, Boruto, all that stuff. Cabinet Key. Andor's been really good. That's right. I'm sorry. I forgot about Dragon Ball Super. I have not been keeping up with that one either. But Andor has been, like, the... Easily the best written thing on, on the Disney Plus experience. If there's one complaint you could levy at Andor that I can't really deny is, uh... It doesn't feel all that much like Star Wars. It more feels like a very tense... Tense experience in a sci-fi world, for sure, but, uh... There is none of those, uh, space wizards. Yes, it has been very good. And again, it's like a show that's actually well-written. That's... That's what makes it so fucking good. There are actual characters! There are characters in it! Watching the dumb Yu-Gi-Oh! Just gotta watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. That's all you need. Hello? Let's see, we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a puzzle here. Oh, I see. Alright. Well, let's start off by actually lighting this bad boy up. Of a bitch. No. Man, that's confusing on the brain. See, we're gonna have to do this a little differently.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Young Sheldon. You're okay with the lack of Star Wars feel? As am I. Like, most of the other stuff is very Star Warsy, so I've been enjoying Andor quite a bit. Again, it doesn't even need to be a, like part of Star Wars. It's just, it's just a well-written, tense heist slash uh, uprising show. It's it's good stuff. Interesting. I can grab that. Now let's first look around beforehand. Corkscrew. Ah, oh, this won't hurt. I'm guessing something on the forward wall just did a thing. Which means that's something I need to worry about now. Oh, we need to chase it. That's fun. Alright. So, first up. And then we hop on back here and we hold this. Has anyone been watching The Patient? Oh no! Yeah, I've been enjoying that it's kind of a, like, origin story for... for Mon Mothma's, uh, part in the Rebellion. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. I hope there's nothing else I have to grab, because... God damn it, we need to figure out how to get in there. Alright, for that part, we go that way. Nope, not quite. That should be it. Yeah, we need to do that. I can't walk up that wall? Well, never mind. Oh. I need to be on... Fuck. One, two? I only have streaming services. I don't have cable. So my, my watching is explicitly uh, limited to whatever I have a streaming account for. Will that do it? That'll do it. All right. Well, that sounds pretty good, Alm. I should check that one out. Oh my god. Oh! I'm not a big fan of Discovery, but I enjoyed Season 1 of Strange New Worlds, and I'm ready for more of that. Patient is uh, Brandon Gleason and Steve Carell in a bit of a fun, fun thriller situation. All right, just have to hope I remember how to do the next step. Back and this way. down, and grab. For the sake of something to watch, oh, there's too much to watch already. Just gonna assume that something bad's coming my way? Yep, there it is.
use a lot of YouTube and Crunchyroll. See, when I say, like, TV, I refer to, like, Crunchyroll. Like, I'm watching streaming stuff. I don't have cable. Cool. I watch plenty of YouTube, and then I watch whatever I want to watch on stream and stuff. My next, like, long-form watch-through is, uh, the next... Working my way through Star Trek. I've done... Last one I did was, uh, Deep Space Nine. It's time for Voyager. Aw, uh, come on, don't push me! Rude! I just want to get up there. Fine. Fine, I'll do it the long way. Can't stand commercials. <coughs> yeah, commercials are frustrating. Honestly, I would take commercials over fucking YouTube ads at this point. YouTube is like, okay, for this month, here are your two... Your two fucking advertisements you get to watch. I hope you like watching the same two things over and over and over again. I do not, YouTube, I do not. Then a month goes by and I get two new ones. Ah, uh, Love is War is fantastic. Season 3 was fucking aces. Excellent stuff. Two weeks before an action, there are four ads. Fair point. now. Means I could finally be Santa Claus. I don't think there's any reason for me to go back. But then again, was there a place for me to do coal stuff here? What if you don't have a student discount because you're not a student anymore? What do we do then? Let's go this way. Coal? No. Tiny piano? No. How do they verify you're a student? Maybe I can still do it. I do work at a institute of higher learning. I have an education e email account. Uh, here's where Cole goes. Fuck, we need matches. You don't know how, but you have one, don't you? Okay. Toy piano's here, would that change? Okay, toy piano. Oh, ho! that's fun. <laughs> 